Welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen. For years, decades, I've had friends of mine that have begged me for my macaroni and cheese recipe. But I've always been too lazy to like type it, text it, email it. Uh, so finally today, I'm just gonna show everybody how I do it because there's so many things involved into it. There's so much love that goes into it. It's just easier to show you how I do it than to write it down for you. So let's start. I'm going to show everybody what actually goes into it. For the recipe I usually use, it's usually one of these uh, aluminum pans that uh, people use for catering, Schaefer pans. Uh, today we're going to be using pasta shells instead of macaroni. I prefer pasta shells over macaroni. If you like macaroni, that's fine. We're going to use about two-thirds of a block of Velveeta, mild cheddar, about a half of a stick of butter, three beaten eggs, a can of evaporated milk, uh, a cup of whipping cream, a small dollop of sour cream, a tablespoon of brown sugar, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, this is the big part of the love coming right here. I've already melted my half stick of butter. I'm gonna add the brown sugar because I want it melted in and mixed in with the butter before I add the other ingredients. Whisk it in real good. Make sure it's mixed in there. Melt it in with the butter. And I'm gonna add dehydrated milk. Add the cream. Small dollop of sour cream, pepper, salt, and you notice I've got my Velveeta already cubed up. I've got my pasta shells boiling. beaten eggs into my mixture and now I'm going to take the pasta shells off the boil and into the colander. Now I've got the drain in the sink because you don't want boiling water going down your plumbing because I made that mistake and learned from it one time when I had a crab boil and it melted the PVC pipe and the whole crab boil water went into my kitchen floor through the melted pipe. Okay, so I'm gonna take this pasta after I've drained all the water and I'm gonna pour it back into the pot. From there, we're gonna add our Velveeta and we're gonna get that melting. And then we're gonna get back into the next step and add the mixture. For now, we have to melt the Velveeta into the pasta. By the way, I took the flame off the stove because you don't want to burn any of your pasta to the bottom of the pan here. Okay, we're ready for our last step. Come on over here, Melissa, and show this Velveeta has melted into the pasta shells. And now we're going to add in our mixture. that good mixed up. Okay, now we're going to start layering it into the pan. By the way, we have our oven preheated at 375. Okay, we got one layer in there and then we're, we're going to layer that with the cheddar cheese. You can put as much as you want if you don't like uh, a lot of cheese. You know, you can do whatever you want. Okay, there's one layer. And another layer of mix on top.
And then, last but not least, another layer of cheddar on top. this in for 35 minutes. Right. Here we are with the finished product. I uh, hope you all enjoyed my uh, presentation today. If you like this recipe and any of the other ones that uh, I've done, please press the like button and also hit the subscribe button. Girls, what did y'all think of the mac and cheese? It's, it's the best mac and cheese in the world. It's cheesy and delicious. I want to tell you something. Y'all know nothing about my dad's mac and cheese.